Welcome to episode 1348 of Love Serve Care. Today's episode, I want to talk to you about being the only one and creating that in what we can say is the 25th hour. Not talking about the Spike Lee movie, talking about when you're under the gun, when you are in the winding down stage, the, the close to the finish line, when the project is due and you're rushing and you're here at this last moment to get it done and you find a way. I'm part of this group of other speakers and we recently connected and we decided, hey, let's hold ourselves accountable and let's just simply do a work. And we gather weekly, put our our goals for the following week in terms of just speaker outreach right of the of reaching out for engagements trying to secure opportunities to speak we have our number and then another box for do we hit that number yes or no very simple very clean and this past week we didn't meet Right, there was different circumstances. I was at my retreat with my BIPOC coach collective, executive board members. The other folks had their different things that were going on, and we agreed, hey, this week we were not going to meet, but we were still going to hit our numbers. I was in a bit of a, <laughs> not not a panic, but recognizing the morning, okay, I'm, I got a few numbers to hit, and I just went to work on it right i blocked off an hour got it done first thing in the morning entered in my stuff boom complete i want to just check in later on to see like hey how did everybody else do and notice that i was the only one who entered in anything that's not to say that they didn't do the work of course but at the end of the day what does a commitment look like a commitment looks like when the thing you said you're going to do gets done versus an intention. We've talked about this distinction many times. And this is not a judgment. This is not like, oh, I'm better than them. But it's a f- great reminder for me. And and hopefully this will be a reminder for you to be the person that does the thing that that does the things that they say they're going to do. We said we were going to do the work. That's what I'm here to do. And the results will speak for themselves in time. And I will continue to do the work as I get ready for this next week. And I'm going to hit my number again. All that said and done, remember, you're born to live your life in abundance. You're the master of your future. You control your freedom. And you have complete dominance of your thoughts, your emotions, and your habits. Take care. God bless. Stay blessed.